Welcome, friends. In this one, take a look at solving the question from the AP Calculus BC 2018 test question one. It says, people enter a line for an escalator at a rate modeled by the function r given below, where r of t is measured in people per second and t is measured in seconds. As people get an escalator, they exit the line at a constant rate of 0.7 person per second. There are 20 people in line at time t. So the first part of the question is, how many people enter the line for the escalator during the time interval from 0 to 300? So that means that you, have to, you have to basically integrate from 0 and then up to 300 this way. And then what you're going to integrate is r of t. And then here you're going to put dt. This is really calculator work. There's no way really to do this by hand. And so on the TI-89, it would look like the following. You'd have to do this, and then you have to input the integrate function from your calculator. So on the TI-89 F3, for example. And then here you might put the following. Very likely you're going to get parentheses. You're going to have to input that whole function r of t this way. I'm just going to write r of t so I don't have to type it because it's too long. And then after that, along the lines, you're going to do something like a comma, the variable of integration, comma zero and then we're going to stop integrating 300 this way and when you actually tell the calculator to carry this out it's going to give you a value of 270 so that means that there are 270 people that enter within the zero to 300 range there the next part it says during the time interval between zero and 300 there are always people in line for the escalator how many people are in line at time t equals 300 remember there are 20 people that begin at t equals zero so you got to put that as the first value and then again from there what you would have to do is you would have to integrate between zero and 300 r of t but then keep in mind that people also leave at a constant rate of 0.7 of a person, which means you're going to have to subtract this way. So from 0 also up to 300, and then here the integrand is 0 0.7, which is the rate at which they leave dt. Now, 20 is constant. The middle integral, this one right here in blue, we already know to be 270. The last one can actually be done very easily. It's just... The antiderivative of 0 0.7 is 0 0.7t, and then plug in 300. So it's going to give you 300 times 0 0.7. Punch this into your calculator, and you find that there are basically 80 people. So that's how you answer that part. For the next one, it says, for t greater than 300, what is the first time t that there are no people in line for the escalator? So remember, at the end of the process, there are 80 people. And the 80 people then have to leave, so you might do 80 minus 0 0.7 times t, which is the rate at which they leave times the time required for them to leave, essentially. And this has to be equal to zero because that means there is nobody left. Now, when you solve this, you find pretty quickly that t here is equal to 114, and this is in seconds. But they want this for t greater than 300, which means what you have to do is you have to take 300 and add to it this 114, and it becomes just about 414 seconds this way. So that's the answer to that part. The last part is the most sophisticated, so to speak. What it says there is for t between 0 and 300, at what time t is the t number of people in line a minimum? The nearest whole number, find the number of people in line at this time, justify your answer. So the function that represents the number of people any time t is basically this, p of t, equal here to the following, 20, the number of people initially, plus the number of people who enter up through time t, beginning at 0, so that would be like this, 0, and then up here you would have a t, and then here, you have to use a dummy variable, because now t is the upper limit of integration, so you would have r of x, which is number of people entering, minus 0 0.7, which is number of people of leaving. So what you have in there is a kind of competition between the rate of entry and the, and the rate of leaving, and then dx. So this is your function that represents the total number of people at any time t. What you have to do now is the following. You have to differentiate this. So p prime of t, we just differentiate term by term. The derivative of 20 is 0. The derivative of the integral part, so that would look like this. In other words, look, it would be this with respect to t. And then you would differentiate this right here. Now that derivative, by one of the principles of calculus, means you would first anti-differentiate, and then you would plug in t, and then you would differentiate. That's the same as basically just taking the integrand and replacing the variables with t. So it would look like this, in other words. You would just have r of t, and then 0 0.7. Now because this is the derivative, you would just do now the following. Punch this into a calculator as follows. You would say, solve on a calculator and then you do here r of t minus 0 0.7 on the ti-89 you set this equal to zero we're looking at the derivative is zero as usual because there's a uh, there's usually a high point and a low point there the variable and that's about it and then here you punch this in and it tells you that there are two values essentially that look like 33.01 and the other one would be 166.57 then what you have to do is c where the minimum occurs. This is a minimization question, essentially, of a closed interval from 0 to 300. So you have to compute p of 0. That just tells you that there are 20 people initially. That's already given to us. You have to compute p of 300. 
Now this part we've also done already, and we know this is equal to 80 people. So each of these is people in terms of units, okay? Like that. The parts that remain then would be to find P of 33.01. So here, you'd have to kind of carry this out on your calculator, but uh, speaking symbolically, you would do this kind of calculation right here. You would have to integrate this up here, and the T would now be 33.01. So you punch this into your calculator and pretty quickly it tells you that the value is about 3.8. And again, this is people. Remember, we're looking for the minimum number of people. And then you have to also do this for the last value here of P. And then what is that? 166.57. That's the same thing. So let me just move this down a little bit so nothing gets cluttered. And then take this integral, pop it down below. And just change the upper limit of integration here. So that would be here, let's see, 166.57. Punch this into your calculator, and it gives you a value there of about 158.07. And you see that the answer would be right here. So at time 33 seconds, there's a minimum of about 4 people, because you have to round this to a whole number. So numerically it's 3.8, but then you just round it to 4 people. In terms of an input on one of these on your calculator, for example, TI-89, it's allowed. It will look like the following, essentially. You would have 20 plus. And again, you have to grab your uh, integral symbol. In other words, the integrate function from the calc menu. Kind of looks like that by default. And then here we do, you know, r of x minus 0 0.7. You'd have to replace r with the function there. You have to put a comma. You have to put basically now x of the variable, comma, 0. And then the upper limit of integration, 33.01. And if you did this, you would see pretty quickly that it gives you the correct value of about 3.8. So let me just zoom out, see what the... I can show you all of the work from top to bottom. I was hoping that it's possible. It's a bit tricky when questions are so long, but this is pretty much it from top to bottom. So, just leave a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. I hope you can see it.